When someone with celiac disease gets exposed to gluten, or as I like to call it, gets glutened, their body might externally react very differently from someone else who has celiac disease and gets glutened. I was diagnosed with celiac disease when I was seven, and until I was about 20, my external reaction to gluten was pretty severe. I spent about a day throwing up, and then I was down for the count for several more. It completely drained me of all my energy and sent my stomach somewhere not fun. For the last few years when I've been exposed to gluten, my stomach still gets twisted up, but I don't throw up as much, if at all, but my brain fog is still pretty severe when I've adjusted gluten, which makes it very difficult to do my daily tasks. I'm sharing this with you so that you can hear my story and know that people's symptoms can change over time. And celiac looks really different for each individual. External symptoms can include things like stomach aches, diarrhea, constipation, nausea, vomiting, headaches, migraines, loss of balance, joint pain, brain fog, a skin rash called dermatitis herpetiformis, loss of balance, tingling or numbness in hands and feet, loss of coordination. The list goes on. And some people have no external symptoms at all. Even if you have no external symptoms when you're glutened, if you have celiac disease and you're exposed to gluten, you're villi will suffer damage, which leads to a whole host of other issues. That's why it's important if you have celiac disease to eat a 100% gluten-free diet. How does your body react to gluten? What do you wish people understood about gluten exposure? Tell us in the comments. Let's start a conversation.